Hi, this is David Bowman with Zeus of Trout Outfitters, and this is a tying instructional video for the Blue Winged Olive Stuck. The fly is an emerger, and it's tied on two separate hooks that are joined together by um, a set of wings. So, what I have so far is a Gamagatsu style light wire, um, kind of like an emerger hook. Um, I've gone ahead and tied in with some Olive 140 UTC thread. I'm using Fly Reaper, Blue Winged Olive, Hatch Matcher dubbing. Alright, and so, got a little dubbing on there right now. Just going to go ahead and dub a little Blue Winged Olive body here real quick. stop right about there and now what I'll do is I'll take um, this in, this is a kind of a special fabric I pick it up at uh, Walmart and it's got you can kind of see it's a netting it's iridescent uh, this is a, a gray color and the neat thing about it is that you can grab the edge and pull fibers up out of it I don't know if you see that or not I'm pulling these fibers and they're just coming right off the top of the fabric. And these fibers are what I'm going to use to for the wings on this fly. Now, I would say that you can very easily use like a poly yarn type of a material. This has some nice shine to it. It's a dull gray, like a dun gray color. So that works pretty good for the blue winged olives. They sell it in gold white and lots of nice natural colors and I'm just going to go ahead and tie these wings in spinner style so <clears throat> I'll just get them tied in like if I was going to be tying a, a spinner for a mayfly kind of the same all right so, just real quick, see how they're tied in. Uh, I'll leave them a little extra long because I'm going to be pulling them back to attach to the back hook. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and take a done feather here and... Tie that in for some hackling up front. Bring my thread to the front. Okay, and I'm just going to wind this. Okay, and I'll just put a quick wrap on that, keep that from unwinding. I got a camera here in front of me, so this is just a little bit trickier. Pull everything back, get those hackle fibers pulled back. All right, so something like that. <clears throat> Do a quick little trim. We'll get rid of this, the top of this hackle feather. Like so. Alright. And I'm going to show you what that looks like here in a minute after I whip finish just so I don't lose this. And it doesn't matter if you crowd the head a little. Or if you have to trim a few barbs away from the front after you're done here. Because this fly is not one that <clears throat> you're actually tying your tippet to. So we'll just get rid of that, trim those few that got hung up. All right, so what you have there is kind of pretty standard style dry fly. 
tackle except now that you got these really long <clears throat> what I would call like poly wings and so what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to pull these back okay and I'm going to tie those wings in on the back hook the key here is that now what I want to do is I want to take a pair of like wire cutters and I want to cut this bend the bend of this hook right off so I'm just going to go just below the dubbing okay and get rid of that so now all you have is a fly body all right next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a size 18 scud hook now right now what I have on me all right is not what I would consider a light wire hook but if you were to get a light wire hook which I don't currently have on me right now but if I did <clears throat> that would be a good choice for this the lighter this back hook is the easier the fly that we just finished tying will float it all right so now I'm just gonna go ahead and tie in with some tan thread here this is a uh, 8 0 tan thread and the idea here is to make the appearance that this is kind of a shuck that's trailing and also part of a body that's still left inside so I got this is poly yarn take a little bit of this you know keep it thin All right. And so I'm just going to tie this in as a shuck, a lot like a pretty standard emerger pattern would. So I have a few trailing fibers in the back. And we'll trim them to a desired length in a minute. Alright, put a few more wraps. Then what I do is I pull that back, this poly yarn back, keep a hand on it. Okay, try and keep it separated from the tail. And get back to about right there bring my thread back forward then I wrap the body with this this has a nice kind of shiny translucent like you know appearance kind of. so we'll get rid of that and now comes the fun part attaching the first fly to the back fly so here are the two flies got your trailing shuck and your emerging fly. So I pinch it here like that, pull these fibers back, kind of keep them above the plane of the hook shank, and then when you set that down, it pretty much takes, you can almost kind of get it into the eye of the hook, all right, and you just do one turn. Now that fly is, is caught there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pick up on it a little bit, okay kind of pull back so that that's <clears throat> there now that's exactly what I would like it to look like the poly wings are pulled back they're gonna sit a little bit on the water too <clears throat> you got your hackle pretty heavy up front this will get caught right around here in the surface film and that truck that shuckle you know fall down in so I'll put a few more wraps around this to keep it from coming undone. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it, the extra. You can go back and tie over that if you want, you know, cover it up, make it look really pretty. A little fatter as it gets closer to the fly is probably not a bad thing, make it look like there's still some fly left in the shuck that is yet to come out all right and then the last step is to bring your you can pull back on this fly now bring your thread to the front and do a whip finish right on that eye in the front six turns pop that out all right we'll go ahead and get rid of this
Now what I do is I set my fly exactly where I want it. So something like that. I really like the way that looks. And I'm just going to throw a little, this is a trick from a friend, Jim Missouria. little Sally Jensen hard as nails works really good for fly lacquer. It's thin, but it sets hard. So I'm just going to put a dab right there where I've connected the two flies and <clears throat> where I have those wings connected. All right. And so that's the blue winged olive stuck. I'm going to go ahead and trim this shuck by just kind of running the blades of my scissors over it so that it's not a smooth cut and that's it right there all right now there's two other patterns that i tied one is a caronamid or a midge so i have that right here and i'm just going to show you all right same exact style of fly tie the front fly that's a 22 Black dubbing, white hackle. Um, I think I used the white poly wings on this. And then I just built this chironomid larva and attached that fly to the front there. So very same, very similar style. It's just instead of tying a trailing shuck with, you know, some fibers here, it's, it's just a lar like the remaining part of the larva. <clears throat> and finally, the caddis version is basically just a caddis like an elk hair caddis except i leave the palmer hackling off all right so it's just a dubbed body with a deer hair on the front i put those wings in early on and then put the tuft of deer hair over the top and then i tied those wings in you can see there those are gold those are tied in just like that blue winged olive that's there same thing trailing shuck very much tied the same way except that the front fly is <clears throat> you know tied to represent a caddis so all right now the last thing i wanted to discuss was how you rig this fly up <clears throat> here you can tie your tippet directly to this fly all right and fish it that way <clears throat> but i've also considered passing my tippet through the eye of this hook and tying it here or what you'd probably have to do is tie it here pass your tippet up through the eye of this hook <coughs> excuse me and then attach it to your leader or some tippet that you have that's still left behind so tie here and fish or tie here pass your tag end of your tippet through this eye and then attach I think either way will fish pretty cool. So, thanks for watching. Enjoy.